everybody. My name is Miss Tess from the Hamp Hollow Hills Community Library. Today I am going to show you how to make a spool knitter from a toilet tissue roll and some yarn. So this is the one I have started already. You can see how long it is. And we're going to go through all the uh, stuff that's in your kit and then I will show you how to make the, how to make the spool knitter itself and then how to get started knitting and then talk about some of the projects that you can make from your spool knitter. So um, it's a lot of fun and um, can't wait to get started. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to get started uh, in making the spool knitter. So in your kit, I wanna go over what's in your kit. <clears throat> you have your set of instructions, which we're gonna be following. You have yarn. I have a large ball of yarn, which I'm gonna to use to demonstrate, but you have two smaller, uh, little skeins of yarn which you're going to use um, okay you have a toilet tissue roll like this you have your popsicle sticks it's you should have on hand a pair of scissors a marker and I asked you to either have uh, duct tape masking tape something to wrap around the tube to make it a little more sturdy um, but whatever you have will be just fine. If you have nothing, it'll be fine too. It might just be, uh, you might just have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so the first thing I did was um, I labeled my popsicle sticks one to four because those are the pegs that you'll be putting the yarn, wrapping the yarn around, and it just makes it easier so you can see which direction you need to be traveling in with your yarn. And um, a glue gun is really helpful to glue the, because we're gonna glue the popsicle sticks inside the uh, the toilet tissue roll. If you don't have a, a glue gun, regular glue is fine. You'll just have to do this in steps. So I would give it at least an hour of dry time. So if you haven't already done so, please do plug in your glue gun uh, because you'll be needing um, to do that. Okay, so like I said, I did uh, number my sticks and what I'm going to do now is my glue gun is ready. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, got my popsicle sticks here and you're gonna glue them one and across from each other. You can glue them with the numbers facing in towards you or facing out, whichever is easier for you. And I just found it easier to do them across from one another like this. And you wanna leave it sticking out, you know, maybe about like a, a, a half inch to an inch like that. So let me grab my, my, um, got my hot glue gun here. I'm gonna put the glue on the, the stick. I think it's easier. And I think I'm gonna face them in like me. Glue, hot glue, if you've never worked with it, dries really fast. So you do wanna get this glued on here as quickly as possible. I'm gonna press it down. And there we go, there's there's the first one. Okay. Wanna get it nicely in there like that. And and it uh, if you've never you again if you've never used a glue gun, it's always a good idea to have a little paper plate or something for it to rest on so that uh, it will um, not burn anything. And you wanna be careful with this is a low temp glue gun, but still you wanna be careful. So I'm gonna do the opposite one, which would then be four number four, and that's gonna go on the opposite side here, just so it keeps it balanced and evenly spaced. So here we go. An opposite of one and four would be two and three, and we wanna do this in a clockwise fashion. So here comes number two. That looks pretty good so far, one, two, three. All right, and then we gotta do, and, th and three is gonna go on this side. Okay, here we go, here's the last one. All right, then you can move your glue gun to the side. We're not gonna be using that anymore. So right now, this is what it should be looking like, like this. Okay, and then what I did was I had some, I have some duct tape, I had this pink, duct tape which I cut like I said you can use silver whatever you have at home and I'm just gonna put it on here to make it a little sturdy more sturdy and here we go just gonna lay it like this 
gotta work be careful with um duct tape also it does stick and you can just overlap it like that and I think two should really do it so So now we've got a nicely reinforced spool knitter and we are good to go. Okay, so right now we are on page two of our instruction sheets. We're gonna to start to pass the yarn through the spool knitter like this. So this that's an over, nice overhead view and this is what mine looks like this. Okay, so what, I, what you have to do is you need to Get your yarn. You're going to open up your yarn. You can take it out of the wrapper if you want. Um, in your yarn, you'll see there might be a, um, a place where you can pull it out from the middle. If not, you can just, you know, do it from the outside. So I have this multicolored yarn. Yours are solid colors, but um, either one of them, you know, they're going to look great. You have nice, some, some nice color combinations. So you're going to hold it up like this. You're going to pass the yarn through the, from the, through the tube from top to bottom, like this, and you're gonna leave a tail. I like to leave, you know, four or five inches because you're not really sure what you're gonna do with your project yet, so it's good to have an option like that. Okay, so now we're gonna loop the yarn, right? We're gonna hold it in place, well, on the bottom here, you're gonna kind of hold it in place like this. You're gonna loop the yarn clockwise, so in the order of the clock, okay, um, so that the yarn crosses uh, behind the stick. So I'm gonna start with, you know, loop number one. Can everyone see that? There's one, and I'm gonna go like around. And then around. And then around. Oh, it looks like I made a mistake. See, look at that, I made a mistake right there. So disregard that. You do need to put your, you do need to space these out. Um, I think when I made it the first time, I did my sticks and then numbered it. So I already made a mistake. So we're gonna pretend that's three, I'll fix it. We're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna wrap it around like this. So it should look like this. You should have um, yarn wrapped around your sticks like that. Okay, and now here's the easy part. So if you remember, we went back to the beginning and we're gonna go, we're gonna grab, you have a little tool in your kit it's, um, it's specifically for spool knitting. It looks like a, sort of like a crochet hook, but a wire. So now what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna lift the, the bottom. Oh, this. Okay, so as I was saying, we were lifting the bottom over the top. Um, here's, I did number three, which I did renumber my mine. They were out of sequence, I did three. And now I'm doing four, so you have to carefully lift the bottom, bottom piece with your tool. Lift this over the top like that and make sure it doesn't come off the peg and it's gonna start to come together like this. So now each time you go around, you have to put, you know, sort of like re rewind it like this. So now we're back to one again and here's one. I'm gonna pull the bottom over the top. I'm gonna to pull the, sometimes they get crossed. So it's kinda of why it's nice to have, um, yeah, see my colors are crossed here. If you're using a multicolored, it is actually kinda of nice. I'm gonna see if I can, this is a little, it got a little mixed up here. So let me see if I can grab this. My other, I don't wanna do it over. So here we go, like that. See, one, two, and you're using your two hands. And it sort of looks like a little bit like a spider web in there. Um, it is gonna start to come down. So this, this is how you know this one is done, because there's only one on here. This one is to be done, so you see the two. All right, so I gotta pull from the bottom over the top, making sure that you don't let it, um, Making sure that you don't let it flip, you know, come off the spool. Okay, and here's four. And we're coming around like this. And you just keep going around like this 
until the spool starts to get longer and longer. So here's one. And if along the way you have to do a repair, like you can see my popsicles that is coming off, you might have to stop and fix it. And here's two. And you can always refer back to your directions to see um, how how to do it. Now, if you if you make a mistake, if you skip a stitch, um, the spool knitting is, is very forgiving. You can really just ignore it. Uh, but if you want, you can go back and try and um, and try and fix it. So, um, and again, here is the project I worked on already a while ago. I'll move this out of the way just to refresh your memory. Here are my, here's the one I made previously with the numbers. And this is what it looks like overhead like this. And I have this really nice long tail like this. So one of the things I'm thinking of making this as you know, a holiday gift for someone is What's going to happen is we're going to you know do this and do this and do this so it gets to a certain length so one of the one of the projects i thought of doing was i could make a little could gather it up like this and i could make a little um coaster like this i'm just gonna gather it around like this if you're handy at sewing you can sew it you can use in your kit there is a plastic uh needle so you can pass the you know another piece of yarn you, you would stop your spool knitting you would you know end it you would cut it and then just tie a knot on that end and then use the rest of the yarn that you have or add some other yarn or thread and you can just sew it through the middle like this or you could you know glue it or hot glue so that's one cute project to make you could make it longer and longer continue to add yarn and you might want to make a, like a trivet for the table or a little like maybe a little rug for your doll or something like that or or you could just make a a simple bracelet you know that's why it's good to leave this long end like this so that you have options as to what to do with it and then if you decide to make a bracelet out of it you would need an end on the other end that you could tie and to, to remove it on and off from your arm like that uh, you could make a bookmark um, depending on how thick it is and um, that would be a fun project also. So you, there really are lots of great things that you can make with your spool knitter. And um, I hope you enjoy making it. And you can experiment with different shaped tubes and uh, different types of yarn and you'll get different uh, effects. So I hope you have fun making this and then making a gift for someone else and maybe you'll teach someone else. And have a great time and um, happy holidays. And we hope to see you soon in the library. Bye.